how do I see the role of the development office in the Zambia Malawi province today? Okay, uh, we've just been talking about um, uh, mobilization of, um, of, uh, of our lay collaborators. Okay, I see that as one of the, the, the very pressing roles that the development office has to, to play uh, in Zambia today. Uh, I think they have that uh, responsibility to help the Society of Jesus to reach out to the lay people, to reach out to non jesuits And I feel that um, that is a role and responsibility that the development office has today. Okay? Because as I said earlier, uh, we cannot rely simply or only on the resources that we have um, outside. Okay? We have to begin to find a way of mobilizing local resources. And we cannot do that without the uh, presence and support of our lay collaborators. So I think one of the roles uh, uh, of the or the tasks of the development office is to try to uh, help the society of Jesus to get more in touch uh, with our lay uh, lay co collaborators. Uh, that is to 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 encourage lay people to come on board and support the society of Jesus, uh, and also to help the society of Jesus to be comfortable working with. Uh, with lay people, so they, they have to create, uh, to, they have to help to create this network of relationship between the Society of Jesus and our lay collaborators. Okay, um, another task that I think the Development Office has to embark on is uh, to encourage local investment. Okay, for a long time, uh, the Zambia Malawi Province uh, has been comfortable, uh, but has been comfortably relying or depending. On investments outside the country, outside the province. Okay, it has carried us on for some time, uh, but with the challenges that we have seen uh, in terms of financial um, uh, management and resources in the past few years, we feel more and more the need to encourage local investments. Okay, so I'd like to see the development office trying to find ways and means of investing locally. Okay, and one of the practical ways that we've been um, 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 thinking of as a province is to try to improve our local financial base by uh, commercializing our farms uh, in Zambia Malawi province. Uh, we have a farm here in Lusaka, Kasisi, and we have a farm in the southern province in Chikuni. Okay, we hope that maybe if we're able to commercialize these farms, they'll be able to generate enough income that can help us to take care of some of the ake. Uh, in, the, in, in the province. So I feel it is incumbent upon the development office to try to find means and ways of uh, making local investments viable uh, in the province. Okay? And as I mentioned earlier, um, the other task that they have is to make, mobilize their people in supporting Jesuit missions. Okay? So we have been moving on and uh, more or less very successful in doing things on our own. We haven't really gone back to our people to ask them to join us in making our work more effective. Okay, So I think we need now to make that turn in the Zambia Malawi province where through the development office we can mobilize lay people hopefully through the Jesuit collaboration network uh, to support our Jesuit ministries and apostolates. And so the lay people have to come on board, either financially, uh, materially, or by giving us human resource to support the ministry of the Society of, of, of Jesus. Okay? Um, we also feel that most of our parishes uh, in Zambia and Malawi have been a little bit distant from the Society of Jesus. Okay? We meet our people on Sunday, we pray with them on Sunday, but uh, it ends there. Okay? And so there's been this need in the province that we need to get our parishes, especially, more involved in our works. Uh, and that is a task that I expect the, uh, the development office to take care of. I think that they should at least go out and visit Jesuit parishes to create awareness about um, our works and to create awareness about uh, um, our need to work with lay people and to encourage lay people uh, to come on board and join our mission. Okay? So I would like to see the development office doing more of that, going out to our parishes and encouraging lay people in our parishes to be aware of our mission and to join us uh, in this uh, mission. 
Uh, okay, but I think there's another thing that um, the uh, development office needs to 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 consider in as far as uh, uh, work among fellow Jesuits is concerned. Okay, I think it is their task to promote teamwork among Jesuits. Okay, there's been a challenge in the Society of Jesus that sometimes we find it very easy to work with lay people, uh, but uh, it can be very difficult for Jesuits to work among Jesuits. Um, or do Jesuits to work with Jesuits. Uh, so I would like to see the development office doing more in terms of promoting teamwork among Jesuits. Uh, uh, again, going back to the lay people, uh, the lay people have the desire. Okay? Many lay people are willing to work with us, okay? but they lack the know-how, they, they, they lack the Jesuit pedagogy, they lack the Jesuit education. Okay? So through the development office, I hope, that we can be able, as Jesuits, to form lay, our lay collaborators, okay, to educate our lay collaborators in the special exercises, in our manner of proceeding, and uh, all those um, uh, aspects of Jesuit life that makes us, make us who we are, so that our lay collaborators could learn, okay, and could be formed, okay, could be trained in our ways of doing things. So I believe and I expect that uh, the development office will take that as one of its uh, tasks, that is formation of our lay collaborators. Okay? And of course, I expect that um, maybe the work that they'll be doing here in terms of uh, forming um, and training lay collaborators, it could be done also at an inter-province level. Okay? It could be done at an inter-province level, meaning that um, maybe the, our lay people here in Zambia and Malawi if and when they are well trained, I hope that they can be able to work with other lay people across the province. Okay? For example, I would like to see a situation where uh, the, the Jesuit collaboration network in Zambia, men and women, are able to work with uh, lay people in Zimbabwe, or they are able to work with lay people in South Africa. Because now we have devised this common mission in Southern Africa, we are beginning to share our apostolic vision and our apostolic purpose we're beginning to share. We're, we're, we're looking at ourselves more, uh, more globally. Okay? So I hope that uh, in the same way that Jesuits in the Society of Jesus uh, are beginning to collaborate more and to restructure in terms of their apostolic availability and in terms of their apostolic purpose in the Society of Jesus, our lay people could do the same. Okay? So I envision a situation where the development office in Zambia, Malawi would facilitate collaboration at the interprovincial level uh, between lay people in Zambia and lay people maybe in Zimbabwe and lay people in South Africa and beyond. Okay? So those are just some of the very few um, uh, tasks or, or roles of the development office that I feel are vital and that the development office should, uh, should embark on.